Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today, what you want to know, what you want to hear, we're talking about core training for strength training. You want to do strongman, weightlifting, powerlifting, or any sport, we're going to go over some of my favorite movements, some core movements, pun intended, to get your abs rigid, strong. Let's get after it. If you're new, be sure to give this thing a thumbs up, man. Let's see if we get a thousand likes. Subscribe, brand new videos every Monday, content every single day. I'm selling my 3SB.co for all your clothing needs. New tees are out. Let's dive in. We're talking about our midsection. We're just trying to build functionality and strength in different positions. It is kind of a complex system. There's a lot of different ways you can build strength and a lot of different movements. But similar to something like our back, which is highly functional because of our mobile shoulders, we have a couple of core movements that we want to lock in. We want to learn how to flex and learn how to do it. We want to anti-flex and we want to anti-rotate. So those are kind of the main movements that I look at, starting with both hypertrophy and just general movement is a way to crunch. It's something you can load, it's something we can do for eight to 20 reps and build muscle within our abs, just like we're building any other movement. Talking about contraction, now we're gonna work it from the other way, just a hanging leg raise. Two of my favorite movements to grow, not only the looks, we want a little six pack sometimes when we head to the beach, but also the functionality of controlling that abdominals. Now we're gonna talk about some rotation, or more particularly, anti-rotation. Um, and that's what we're using the Paul up press with. You could do something like a, a wood chop or some other things with a cable or a band where you're actually being more dynamic. But for a lot of powerlifting, strongman, and even other sports, finding how to be rigid and anti-rotation is what we're looking for. So we're gonna give out shoulder width stance, uh, moderate weight. We want the resistance to be about shoulder height, chest height. We're gonna pull it out and just nice, slow and controlled. We'll go reps, but also count maybe five or 10 seconds in and out. It's not gonna be the same type of burn as doing like a bicep curl or a weighted crunch. But implementing these, dosing them almost every other day is something that can be great for a lot of athletes. Whole goal is to keep knees, hips, shoulders all facing forward. Don't let allow that weight to pull you sideways. Overloading is difficult, but just chug away. A couple more reps, a couple longer sessions. Adding weight when appropriate. While we're on the anti-rotation, we're working more our sides obliques, which, you know, in powerlifting and lifting, it does allow you to um, control some of the windmilling or the helicoptering that may happen in a deadlift. You might see people rotate like this on a squat or deadlift. This may play a role there and, and help, but also again, just allows you to learn not only proprioception, your mind muscle connection, being more attached to your core uh, and how to flex it, but strengthening all those muscles that kind of build the rigidity in a squat, a deadlift, etc. This is called the Copenhagen plank. You could also just do side planks, but very similar. End up on our forearm and elbow, uh, elbow underneath your shoulder, and then the entire goal is to have a bench. I'm gonna squeeze my underleg, squeezing both, putting that pressure on my foot and low ankle. I'm gonna try to make a straight line from my shoulder to the pad. Hold this for 20, 30, 40 seconds, build your way up in time. Don't allow yourself to sink, really control that, breathe up. It also works your adductors, obviously. You're gonna get a nice burn on them inner thighs. If you can't hold that for 20, 30 seconds to start, you can start to shift your weight down lower, cut away that leverage, the fulcrum, and start to build up by your knee. You can put the weight here. But the ultimate goal is to get it on your foot and ankle, start 20 seconds, 30 seconds, minute, flip, rotate. While we're down here on the ground, a simple one that's been used for years, both in strength training and functional training, uh, is a basic plank. Again, same idea, we're gonna have our elbows underneath us. Elbow directly underneath your shoulder, straight arms as much as possible. Breathing, pulling our abs towards our, uh, our belly button, towards our spine, and get in a nice shelf. You can start to load it over time too, if it becomes too easy. Squeezing your glutes, squeezing your abs, you want a straight line, flexing, breathing. These are typically timed exercises. Start till it burns, 20 seconds, add 30. Work your way up to a minute, then I start to add load, rinse and repeat, start load, maybe a plate on your low back. 20 seconds, 30 seconds, add more load, two plates, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Dynamic, I got a med ball, 14 pounds. Weight actually is opposite. You wanna use lighter weights to start. And we wanna treat them more like powerlifting. It's more of a plyometric drill. So when we're doing something of this nature, it's not necessarily um, for hypertrophy, it's more for force production. And we wanna treat it like powerlifting in the sense that we're gonna do like five sets of five with full rest in between. You can use something like this, like conditioning, and use a lighter weight and do sets of 20, 30 to get your heart rate up. But the ultimate goal with plyometrics is to put as much as you can, 110% of your body, your hips, shifting into that weight, allowing yourself to release, full breath, full recovery, rinse and repeat. Huge shout out to AbMap for these balls. Not paid, but I absolutely love these things. The texture is amazing. 
um, and have such versatility in your training, both plyometrically, conditioning, etc. And this is like probably the most unique texture I felt on a medicine ball. It feels great. Um, if you guys enjoyed that, let me know. If you want to talk about abs for purely hypertrophy and looking cute, some aesthetic abs, we might come out with a video with that. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. Brand new video every single Monday. Be sure to subscribe, man. Help your boy out. Salamike3sb.co for all your clothing needs. Copper while it's hot. Catch you in the next one.